One thing the show has really going for it, one thing that's mainly going for a show is its comedy. Most movies and shows only have one form of comedy most of the times, whether it's slapstick, running gags, um, etchy, cliche moments, all those stuff. Most shows only have that one kind of comedy for each show, and therefore it gets old and repetitive to the point you don't care about it. But if you can show that you can write other kind of comedy aspects into one show, it's proven you have a gift, a talent. And one thing, the writer who ever created the story of Mo Samaritra knows their comedy. They do all kinds of comedy, whether it's where the weird names, the references, the slapstick, the running gags, even some of the cliche moments and spying on um, spy references. They have all that in here, which in my idea is a nice ideal of a comedy show because not many shows can do that. Most shows will do that constant, repetitive thing. And it gets boring, especially if that show lasts for like over four freaking seasons. It gets annoying and very, very bad. The most someone doesn't do that. So let's just start off with two new characters, Oregon and Mekon. Or it's Mink. I mean Mink. Mink, freaking Chinubio. When I saw her, when she said evil eye, I'm like, oh, Rinka. She, she even has the purple hair, just like Rinka. Or was Rinka's hair blue? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen the show. But she was doing all oh, my evil eye and blood oath and talking about all the other stuff. I'm like, yeah, this is definitely Chinubio. And if you don't know what Chinubio is, go watch it. It's a pretty good anime. It's by Kyo Animation, so most of the times their shows are good. So I would recommend you go watch it. Now, then you see Mo Sama Kunai and the rest of the people celebrating Aku's leg recovery at a nice little fancy restaurant. But knowing Aku, you know, she's from a village, you know. A very very poor village, so her being these kind of fancy places makes her feel uncomfortable, which is understandable. But at the same time, you see Kunai just wants to spoil little Aku. You know, he just wants to shower her of all the best things that this world can give, and I see that as sweet. Like I said in my like old video, I believe it was like episode two, I believe, where I say that this show's, in my opinion, is mainly about spoiling Aku, made her Cinderella story become a reality, where she came from this poverty area, and now she's just being all her wishes come true. So, in my opinion, it's one of the things I really like to focus on on this show, but of course other things, which we get into, where they meet someone named, I kid you not, Shrimp Fry Butterfly. That's the name of this one. That is her name, Shrimp Fry Butterfly. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. In some shows, nobility, they were usually they were named after um, animals in a color, like Gray Rat or Purple Horse or stuff like that. They were named out of those kind of things. Even could be an insect, but just Shrimp Fry Butterfly. A food? Yeah, sure. Why not? Name, name someone after a food. You must be really hungry. I question the parents' decision. Then again, they're high rich nobles, so who am I to say was right and wrong in this world? Anyways, he was trying to, well, Kunai seems to have his plan to not only to extend his base, but also help out the surrounding areas knowing it's terrible, and I mean terrible poverty areas that are inside of this entire world, mainly around the kingdom anyways. His idea is mainly a financial one, by starting off little and going off to big, and it is soap. Yes, soap already exists in this world, but not modern soap. Back in the day, handmade soap was not enough. It was not enough to really clean your body and stuff like that. It will still be an experimental phase. It will carry too much bacteria sometimes, nor did it have the really good smell to it neither. So because of that, not everyone used soap or let alone could afford it. It was a very special kind of item since it required some time to make. 
Now these days, anyone can make a soap, even liquid soap, leather soap, all kinds of stuff. But back in the day, it was pretty different. So he was going to use that soap to gain to some financial trusts, having Luna as a consumer confidence connection towards um, shrimp fried butterfly. So they can extend onto the business reach. Therefore, more popular, high up people will talk about saying how amazing it is. Then other lower, hot but yet still noble people will also hear about it. And then they would want to buy it too. And then they'll say, what well, other things you do? Well, I guess Moho Sama wants to do a lot of bathing things. He wants to do sonas, hot springs, bathtubs, all that stuff. So that's his idea, is bring the kind of luxury of cleanness to the place because as you see in the outside area most of the lakes and water is very filthy so spreading it out to the outside areas will make everybody happy so if there's more money going around I'm not saying it'll be less spoke not be saying all parties gone but it'll be less of it anyway so makes sense on his part you gotta I'm not saying I know everything about financial stuff but I know some people who explain to me how things work you know have someone big up who has a product, they'll share it around, they'll talk about it to other people, and then other people below them will like to get the product as well, and then the word will spread around sooner or later. The next thing you know, you'll have enough money for advertising and marketing deals and stuff like that. It works. It really does. So the how everything was cut short, where the Satanists came out again to attack the place, and the thing they summoned was Carnival. Carnival, one of the beasts you see in the opening, this weird looking beast who I guess he looked like from those Renaissance times. He was writing something like the Renaissance. And he was apparently a demon. However, I was kind of disappointed. But then again, I'm not here for the action, but nonetheless, have some good action scenes at least. But I guess that's asking too much for this studio. Because not much really happened. That's one of the things I don't like about Isekai's with overpowered characters is that the fights are never interesting. The fights in One Punch Man are very interesting and he's overpowered, but yet the fights are still pretty good if he's finding the right character. They were able to do it, but not many people can do it. Mob Psycho, he's another overpowered character, but still the fights are still great. Nafumi isn't an overpowered character, but he is still pretty good because he's good with strategy and he has experience. But when it comes to the shows like this, don't expect good fight scenes. It's kind of like Overlord also has problems as well, where most of the bad guys were just too powerful for any of the enemies to really beat, so therefore it, it got kind of boring in a way, you know, because you don't see the struggle of the other side losing because they're always winning. Not a bad thing, but... Come on, entertain the crowd at least. Because if you don't have much going for your show, and you don't see your character at least doing something that you want to root for them, it gets kind of boring. However, because this character just came, looks like a big deal, but again, again, we don't know how high class Carmel is compared to Kunai, who is a lord after all, so maybe I'm speaking too much, because he's fighting too many lower level creatures. That could be it as well. So, once again, I probably have to take back what I just said. However, it seems like his reputation will grow because of this. After all, he needed that kind of um, something to build his reputation up. And it looks like this was the perfect thing for it. And now he's going known around the area with that creepy face poster. Everyone's seeing him as a good guy now. So everyone will be saying, yay, no, some on, stuff like that. Interesting. Very interesting. I like to see where this goes, where other places will take it. His name will spread out. Higher ups and nobles will hear about it. Some will say, let's work with this guy, while others will be like, we'll turn into an actual enemy. And it happens, unfortunately. It's the reality of a situation. Hopefully it goes that way. That'll be very interesting if it does. If it doesn't, eh, at least we still got the comedy, right? So anyways, this guy is for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are still watching Mosama. It's still um, one of my favorite things to watch this season, actually, because it's it's funny. I like the characters. I like how silly it doesn't take itself too seriously because that it's just nice to watch. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, help out by like, comment, subscribe, of course.
hit that bell icon so you know by every time I upload. Macro Mane, sign out.